my grandparents are two very different people. My grandmother is very loud and very excessive, and but it can also be very kind. And it's really weird because my grandfather is very like more down to earth and is up to talking more. And my grandmother is very loud and what opposites attract. And when and my grandmother is the one that doesn't really cook a lot. She just really cleans. My grandfather is the one that cooks though. Okay, so El Cuco, growing up in a Hispanic household, they always threatened you with El Cuco. So whenever you would get in trouble, oh, El Cuco viene a buscarte. The Cuco is coming to get you. This was their famous ghost legend. Every time you misbehaved, earned bad grades, it was always El Cuco that was gonna go after you. In my house, since my mom is Hispanic, when I get in trouble or I drop something, she she like yells at me and she says oh Giuseppe vete pal cuarto porque tu estás en brasa de gracia and like when my brother messes around with me she like <clears throat> she's like JJ porque tu estás molestando a Giuseppe vete pal cuarto porque tu no tienes nada que hacer something my parents tend to do a lot is that they take me as a translator and sometimes it's hard because I don't know how to translate words for me There's a lot of different foods to think about when you're Mexican. You got uh, sopes, quesadillas, guacamole, nachos, uh, guacamole, sopes, quesadillas, huaraches, um, and tacos. And that's why I really like Mexican food. So on Saturdays, me and my family go to Queens to buy a soup. That's from Ecuador. It's called encebollado. The reason we go to Queens to buy it because it reminds me of Ecuador. Every Christmas we have this baby Jesus that we pass down every Christmas and different generations. So um, I made a dance for baby Jesus one time. And we made this huge party, which we celebrated him, and we had a big feast. And I really enjoy celebrating baby Jesus. I love my Dominican culture because we make an excuse to have a party. Everything is a party from one-year-old birthday parties to baptism. We all get together and celebrate, and we use it as an excuse to all get together and have a great time. Um, so one thing about um, like me being happy about being Dominican is that like, on people's birthdays, we wouldn't usually celebrate it on the first day. We would only say happy birthday and that's it, like at 12 a.m. I think. And then we celebrate the actual birthday like weeks after. And when we do, it's a gigantic get together with both parts from the, both parts of the family. And we usually stay at the parties from usually like six to like one in the morning. So one of the really cool things that I grew up um, participating, participating in or celebrating was Dia de los Reyes. So Dia de los Reyes, or Three Kings Day, is kind of like an extra Christmas. Um, we celebrate it on January 6th, and if you go to many um, Latin countries or Hispanic-speaking countries, they celebrate um, Three Kings Day instead of Christmas, but if you're born in the United States, sometimes you get to um, celebrate both. So for Christmas, we do the same thing as most um, different nationalities do, but for Three Kings Day, that's the day where you like get a present on the 6th so you're supposed to leave like hay and water for the the camels of the three wise men and so you leave that under your bed and then when you wake up on January 6th they have eaten the hay and they drink the water and then you have a present so this is something my mom always did with us um, we always had a really cool present and even as we got older um, she started, she would buy us like lotion or she'd give us like gift cards to Chipotle. It was always something like really cool and a really neat way to like remember our culture and our heritage and just a cool thing that we did as a family. During Thanksgiving, my family, they make a feast and they make it so neat that if you take one bite, they will notice and you can't eat until we pray because if you eat you can't eat the rest of the way christmas eve 
In my family, we never celebrated Christmas on Christmas Day. We always got together on Christmas Eve. And as kids, we would anxiously await for midnight because at midnight Christmas Eve, or I guess it would be Christmas, that's when we would open our presents. So I remember being this adorable little child waiting desperately and trying desperately to stay awake until midnight so that I could open my presents.